Those living in South Atlanta are having a tough time getting around a major construction project. GDOT is installing a new bridge on McDonough Boulevard, but the wait is forcing drivers to take potentially dangerous detours. Joe Ripley is live. He is in the neighborhood right now. And Joe, you spoke with the residents there. What would they like to see in this new bridge? Well, Jeff, they would like to see more inclusivity when it comes to not only car and truck traffic on this bridge on McDonough Road, but also bike and foot traffic. Of course, the residents want the new bridge as soon as possible, knowing it could bring new business and a return to normalcy. A headache, an eyesore, and a roadblock all in one. We're kind of stuck without it. Devon Dixon and other residents in the historic South Atlanta community have waited since February of 2020 for the construction of a new bridge on McDonough Boulevard to be completed. It's a great neighborhood because you're close to everything, but there are some challenges uh, to living in an area that has been historically underserved and underdeveloped. Kimberly Jones says detours around the construction can take 15 to 20 minutes in a car, upwards of 45 minutes on foot. The Georgia Department of Transportation says the relocation of utilities, water and sewer lines, along with railroad usage, stalled construction on the new bridge with the original one built back in 1924. GDOT says businesses and local government have cooperated in building the new bridge and it will be sturdier, wider and able to withstand heavier truck traffic. There are so many thoroughfares, but they basically go on unpatrolled, unchecked, so you have a lot of speeding, a lot of traffic, a lot of accidents. Jones says when taking the detour, it's common to see vehicles make illegal turns into oncoming traffic just to save time. She and Dixon both say they're working with GDOT to ensure the new bridge includes all modes of transportation. To at least allow pedestrians and bikes to get across the bridge, that would be an, not ideal, but a, a better solution for us versus having them walk around. The new bridge was originally set to be completed by early next year, although that has been delayed. That timeline has due to the relocation of utilities. As we mentioned, the new date for completion, the end of fall 2022. Ooh, all right. Long Thank time. you very much, Joe.